My name's Chris Nicholas, and I'm essentially a field geologist, or perhaps more specifically, a petroleum field geologist. And this, to me, means answering uh, some of the big questions like, where is the oil trapped in this sedimentary basin? By simply using, for the most part, the rocks that are exposed at the surface. So whilst a little bit of follow-up lab work might be required, essentially, the laboratory itself is the outdoors. It is the hillside, the stream bed, or the, the cliffs. And field geology is like a giant three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle. We have a certain amount of, of the pieces exposed at the surface, but there are many more below ground. And what we have to do is put them all back together again uh, in the right order, and we have to predict what the pieces are that we can't see. So the fascination for me, the challenge, uh, and the skill required is, is actually putting all those pieces back together and solving a complex four-dimensional puzzle, how those pieces change over time. And the reason the oil industry is interested in this is because uh, by looking at the surface rocks, we can predict what might be happening in the sedimentary basin below ground. So we might be able to predict where their oil source rocks are, their reservoir rocks, what they're like, and essentially where their oil might be trapped. I've been working in East Africa now for about 17 years, initially on an ancient continental rift, but more recently on one of the most complex modern uh, petroleum problems that we have, and that's the East African Rift System. In about the last sort of five million years in some areas, uh, the continental crust is gradually being stretched, and as it does so, we get a series of fractures or faults that face into the centre of the basin uh, as the floor drops to give us our rift valley. Now at the same time, we have a rapidly fluctuating glacial interglacial climate, and the two together affect what sediment is scraped off the size of the rift valley and dumped into the middle and buried to generate oil and gas. And the reason that's so important uh, currently is that it's a major focus for petroleum exploration. There are many companies working in the East African Rift System. And we have a lot of oil, but in many cases, we don't really know why. That's a continental rifting, so you're pulling the plates apart. But more recently, I've been looking also at uh, places where plates are colliding, subduction zones. And it may sound counterintuitive, but there are areas where we try and collide two plates where you get some uh, localised rifting or stretching. And again, we can accumulate petroleum in those places. So I've been working in Jamaica in the Caribbean to try and look at these what are called intra-arc rift basins. And in many of the places that I work, we'd really be producing the first detailed geological maps, perhaps, for the area, and also the actual detailed description of the geology there. And of course, this means you've got to get out of vehicles and, and get off on foot. So in Africa, walking through the bush to do this, obviously, you get to meet and greet a lot of very interesting people and animals.